Dave, they're running right along this edge. You got to come out further. Come up here, come out further, and go right along here. I'm getting hammered over here. Welcome to the Unknown Angler. Today we're going to be fishing the back bays in Cape Cod. This is Cape Cod. Every fall the stripers uh, come down from Maine, New Hampshire, and uh, up north, and they congregate uh, on the flats that are on the bay side of the Cape. They also congregate along the ocean side, too. Um, there's a lot of good fishing in here, uh, but some of my favorite fishing is done on the flats on the bay side. Now, the interesting piece to note is that the tide on the bay side is 13, 12 to 13 feet, um, especially when you have uh, epigee moons and the full moons and the uh, and the new moons. Uh, there's some major, major high tides in here. You have to be careful. Uh, on the outside, it's only a four foot tide. Uh, so high to low, it only moves four feet. You spend much less of a chance of uh, getting into a spot where you have to swim. On the bay side, it's real easy to get into a spot where you have to swim. But from Sandwich, all the way up here to Hatches Harbor in Provincetown, this whole side, including Wellfleet, in fact, not including Wellfleet, but right around in Wellfleet, uh, in Brewster, down in Barnstable here, and all the way up to Scorton Creek and uh, Sandwich along uh, this shoreline, <clears throat> there are more flats than you could fish in a lifetime. Uh, and they all hold fish at different times. Um, some are better than others, mainly because you can get to them easier and uh, you tend to fish them a lot more when you can you can get to them. Uh, most of the time it's two hours before low and you walk out and then as soon as low hitch you wait for an hour and you walk back and I mean make sure you're spot on, you know when the tide is. Uh, as you're walking out, you'll probably be walking out either in knee deep water or just over sand. And you'll walk out for, you know, anywhere from half an hour, even sometimes 45 minutes. And you'll you'll go for a mile, in some cases even more, mile and a half. Uh, but once you get to the water, you, what you're looking for is channels and you're looking for uh, moving water. Once you find moving water, uh, and channels and a little bit deeper water that you can fish, just look for bait. As soon as you find bait, just start casting. If you see birds, start casting. I mean, it's the basic stuff that you do on the Cape. Uh, look for bait, look for birds, and look for current. You're gonna find current back here. When 13 foot tide moves through an area, it creates a lot of current. If you're not standing in current and you don't see a lot of bait, you're wasting your time. Get in the bait, get in some current, and cast away. I'm going to take you to a video where we're over on one of these uh, uh, Bayside uh, flats. I'm just going to do a quick walk out with you. Uh, we're going to look around. I got, uh, like I said, I got three buddies from uh, with me that we go up there uh, pretty much every year. I have done for the last uh, 20, 30 years now. So uh, enjoy the show. Whenever you fish the flats, you're going to run into sand eels, and epoxy sand eels are a great way to start.
Dave, they're running right along this edge. You gotta come out further. Come up here, come out further and go right along here. I'm getting hammered over here. And there isn't much weed over there. There you go. Come way up. Get in here. You got to come up. You're down too far. You can't get out far enough. Skippy. Oh, there you go. You gotta come up here, come out. Nice double. What's that? You're not crowding me. You, you need to come right in between Dave and I. About halfway in between. Keep coming this way a little bit. You don't want to crowd Dave. Keep coming towards me.
Keep coming towards me. You're not going to crowd me because all the fish are running right out there. They're running right along. I know, you can't hear a word. I said you can't hear a word. All the fish are running along the edge over there. So you got to come towards me a little bit more, come out and line yourself up with Dave and I and cast over the other side. 